A lot of moms and dads could be facing that question more because Walmart is about to introduce a brand new line of cosmetics for preteen girls. It's targeted at 8 to 12 year olds and that's a mark that is increasing fast. The use of mascara by tweens has almost doubled from 10% in 2007 to 18% in 2009. Joining us now with more on this hot and to some troubling new trend is Tanya Rivero. Tanya? George, my mother tells me that for her generation it was considered taboo for teenagers to wear makeup. I wasn't allowed to start wearing makeup until I turned 15, but oh, how times have changed. <laughs> If you're not a texting tween, the products in Walmart's new line of Geo Girl makeup might need some translating. There's SWAK, that's sealed with a kiss, a lip treatment. T2G, time to go, a cleanser. There's mascara, eyeshadow, even an exfoliator, all for 8 to 12 year olds. I like blush, lipstick, um, mascara. I just do a just experiment one. I get bored sometimes. Geo Girl fills the void at Walmart left by Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen's defunct cosmetics line. While their fans have grown up and moved on, scores of other brands are cashing in on the trend. Tweens spend roughly $24 million a year on beauty products. The top sellers, lip gloss, eyeshadow, and mascara. But it doesn't stop there. There are tween spa treatments, eyebrow waxing, facials, and massages. I feel it's part of hygiene. I'm, I do all of these types of things myself, and I think that they're better off starting young. Even high heels, leading many to wonder, is it all too much too soon? Use of makeup in some way can be addictive, and what these children would be addicted to is the pursuit of perfection, kind of a superficial, skin-deep, I'm only as good as I look. But in the long run, it could lead to an erosion of self-esteem in the child because they'll begin to think of themselves only as beautiful kids. Walmart insists the makeup will be marketed to parents, telling us the Geo Girl line was developed in partnership with our customers to give parents a healthier age-appropriate option for their tween girls who ask about wearing makeup. The parents we met were on the fence. Do you think it's appropriate at that age? I don't think so. I don't agree with those days because she's from small still, so I don't think it's a good idea. I feel that it's okay. I mean, if it's subtle and uh, very light makeup, I don't, I don't see why not. But the tweens we talked with were happy to indulge. When my mom talks to me about makeup, she tells me, like, always, like, stay natural. Light lip gloss and, like, not too much blush, and she tells me to blend and blend and blend and blend all the time. <laughs> And the parents we talked with really did have a variety of opinions. Some said, no way will my tween ever wear makeup. Others said, I don't see any harm in a little for a special occasion. But George, you have a tween daughter. How would you feel if she began wearing makeup? You mean, how do I feel when she wears makeup? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, guilty, guilty as charged, I do have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old. And uh, I'm joined now by Dr. Logan Levkoff, the author of Third Base Ain't What It Used To Be, and I'll confess right now, I... I I feel a little guilty about it, but, you know, a little lip balm, a little mascara, it's not that big a deal, is it? Well, here's the problem. Girls, little girls, little boys for that matter, like to play with their mom's makeup. It's about dress up and role play. This isn't about dress up. This is about showing girls this is makeup for you so that you can perfect yourself. And, and we're raising another generation of girls who, who kind of measure their self-worth based on what's outside. And that's what's really unfortunate. And it's not just the marketing from the makeup, uh, from the, those who make makeup. It's they're getting messages from everywhere they turn. Be sexy, be sexy, be perfect. And it's a really hard message for them to understand. I was working with 10 and 11 year old girls talking about puberty and development yesterday. And they were having such a hard time trying to fit in, in these new bodies and feel good about them and then they're they're getting socked in the face with this so to speak so you're talking to them yesterday what kind of conversation should parents have about it uh, parents should be talking about makeup and parents are entitled to be parents and and if your daughter says I want to wear makeup you can say no we don't just have to befriend our kids but we also have to explain why because you are beautiful and it's not really what's outside that's beautiful and there's plenty of time for you to explore all of these things so are you uh, when do you say it's okay to start there's a difference between wearing lip gloss in the sixth or seventh grade and sneaking it out of the house and wearing eyeshadow and mascara. And I think it's really about playing, you know, within your home and not feeling like you have to put on a face for everything else. But that's part of what our high tech world does. We're putting on these fronts and these personalities for everyone else and only really getting to the surface. So let's get specific here. What would you tell parents who are concerned about this? Well, banning is not the answer because we can ban all of these things in our own home. But at the end of the day, they're being exposed to it everywhere they go. 
So we can't really stick our heads in the sand. That's, that's the first thing. The second thing is speak up. As soon as you hear your daughter use the word sexy or beautiful or diet or bodies, um, this is the time to talk to them. Oftentimes we wait for the perfect moment and you know what, you just missed it. And the third would be expose your children, both boys and girls, to a variety of beauty, cultural diversity, um, and let them know that beauty is about our character, our contribution to the world, and our courage, and that's something we can all strive so to be. it's not just what you're seeing on TV and in those billboards. Definitely not. Okay, Dr. Lefkoe, thanks very much. Sure thing. We want to know what you think about Walmart's new campaign. Go to abcnews.com slash GMA and have your say.